Hi guys, Jason here. I'm going to be playing as Funky Kong on the Moon Cup. Now I'm playing on 150cc, so the computer is very, very close behind you most of the time. Even when you're getting all of those jumps in and you're maintaining those 10 coins, they can still overtake you pretty quickly. So, what I tend to do is use a high acceleration vehicle. That's going to make sure that even if I'm getting knocked out, I like can get back up to speed pretty quickly. See, I'm still getting uh, a lot of stuff right now, but I got back up to speed pretty quickly. I mean, there's going to be multiple races you have here where you have perfected 95% of the race and you get shelled in the final 2-3 to three seconds. That is one of the realities of 150 cc. Still, we're playing as Funky Kong, so <coughs> does he not look pretty cool? And I believe he was an unlockable character on the Wii version. I think he was the final unlockable character on Mario Kart Wii. And I remember everyone back in the day was saying how cool he was. Well, there you go, TK. Okay, so DK's on superpower mode. But we're gonna. Yeah, we got him. Look at that bomb backwards. So we're only on six coins out of ten, which isn't the best, which means we're not going as fast as we could be. That being said, we've still got that high acceleration. Okay. So now we can't see, which is go round. So I'm on 10 coins now, so I'm every boost I'm getting is at top speed. There you go, that's the first race. But you can see how easy it is to lose that pole position. So, have you got round to getting all of the three stars yet on every cup? Because, I mean, that's quite a challenge. If you have, let me know in the comments. Peach's Gardens. Peach Gardens. Yeah, I remember this one. So, is Inkling my rival? Yeah, I remember this one on the DS. Bit of a classic. Now it's interesting that we put out a poll and uh, you guys seem to think that the GBA beats the DS, which is very interesting. I can see that being a very, very difficult one to answer. But surely the DS had the edge, did it not? And again, I can see some good arguments being made for the GBA. So I've got the lead right now, but I'm only on seven coins, so I'm not going as fast as I could be. There we go, I'm on nine now. The, I think that's Lemmy is very, very close behind. 
and he could overtake at any any moment really. You just gotta keep those ten coins topped up, boost round every corner. And really just there's a flow, there's a rhythm to this. He says crashing into the wall. And <clears throat> really just maintaining that really hitting it all it's almost uh, it's it's a it's a process it's a, it's a fun process but it is a process making sure you're hitting all those things so I missed the jump there that may give him the lead he needs I can hear him very very close behind So we can hopefully glide over most of these obstacles. There we go. Got through that. No, but it is cool being uh, able to play as Funky Kong. I always thought he was quite a cool character. But there we go, we pulled that one off. But yeah, you never feel too safe on 150cc. Larry. Larry seems to be my rival for this one. Now I was... Yeah, this is a new track. I was quite like this one. It's like a little Christmassy village. There's a uh, Larry. I think it's Larry. Is it Lynn? Well, he's straight in the lead. Luckily, I've got a shell. But that won't be the last I've seen of him. So straight away, I'm thinking about I need some coins. I missed all of them. Not a good start. Got the shell as backup though. Getting those coins up as quickly as I can to keep that speed high. And making sure I can boost almost on every jump. You're not always going to be able to get those jumps, but you need to be getting as many of them as possible. Right, so coins are at 10, so we're at the fastest possible speed we can be now, and we're also getting extra out of those turbos. Put that shell as defence as quickly as you can. And expect a blue shell. Because blue, oh, a red shell, there we go. Count the bat. Blue shell we haven't had yet, so expect that and it's your final lap as well. So that's going to potentially take away your lead at the last moment, which is the computer does seem to blue shell a bit more on the final lap. I'm not sure there's anything actually backing that up, but from my experience, they do blue shell on that final lap a lot. We'll see. Really, you want to hope by the third lap you've got a good enough lead. So that when it comes to that blue shell, you can survive it. If you've got high enough acceleration in your vehicle, you might just be able to pull it off. There we go, there's the blue shell on schedule. And I seem to have basically been knocked out right at the last moment, so I seem to have pulled that off. Larry was hot on my case though. We've got one more track to get through, which is Rainbow Road on the 3DS. <coughs> this one can be quite exact. I think it's Olimar's ship. So yeah, this could be pretty challenging. I have to say, this looks really good. I've really um, done this up for the 3DS. 
actually looks like there's a lot of work going on in this. And I think this DLC in general has been very impressive. And I know people weren't sure at the start the quality of some of the tracks, but it's got better and better as it's gone along. And they seem to have saved all the best characters to last. And I think this is one continuous. Oops. Okay, so that was a bad error, but my acceleration is high enough that I can just go straight back onto the track. It's not the end of the world. So this is a continuous track, so we're not doing multiple laps. So there's the blue, so a bit earlier than usual. So we're not going to be doing multiple laps on this one. Really, it's just sections. Here we are on the third section already. The computer is doing everything it can to stop me. We've got the lightning coming. We'll probably have another blue shell. And our coins aren't too high, so we're not driving at top speed really, so that's giving the computer an extra chance to catch up. Final stretch, is there going to be anything? No, it seems like we've got this. So there you go, there's getting a 3 star rating on 150cc. A bit trial and error, you've got to really make sure you're just doing everything you can to ward off the Larrys of the world. Let's see the little victory. Funky looks like he barely fits in there. And there's the three star. Larry was the uh, rival at the end of the day. So Link was a rival, but he came forth in the end. Well, there you go, guys. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.